Hey everybody, Tracy Barkley, Tracy Barkley Comedy. We are about to go into Aldi's where I'm going to film for you a grocery haul with my lovely mother-in-law, Brit Girls Gone Keto. I'll put her Instagram links below. She does the most fabulous keto recipes and food photography you've ever seen. You'll definitely want to give her a follow. Uh, we're going to show you how to budget shop for keto at Aldi's or at any basically any grocery store. You can do this and you can do this uh, fairly cheaply. So we're going to try to give you some tips and pointers today and uh, I'll see you soon. Let's get the shopping started. Hey everyone, here we are in Aldi's. Gonna, for this Wednesday's vlog, it's gonna be a keto grocery haul. And I'm here with my mother-in-law over so, at Girls Gone hello. Keto on Instagram. Please check her out, I'll put the link below. Hey, check this out. I found an organic chipotle lime salsa. It's got no added sugar. It's got two carbohydrates with one sugar, and, they, and those carbs have got to be coming from the tomatoes. But it's got, uh, let's see, we got 10 calories per two tablespoons. Not bad. So they've got this one, and then they've got a, a double fire roasted salsa also. Same sort of macros going on there with no added sugar, and same sort of macro profile there. So these would be good with eggs or to throw on chicken or something. So I'm going to get both of these and put them in a cart. Let's do it. We're actually here, while we're off the road, we're staying with our very kind mother-in-law who also got me, it's when it got me started on keto. You've seen some of our collaborations, so. And then Tosh is also picking up some almonds roasted with sea salt. And again, the macros on this are good. You've got one added sugar, but that's, you know, just the, the almonds themselves. There's not actually any sugar in here. The one thing that I would be watching out if you're keto, which Tosh isn't, is the canola oil. That's something right. that we don't want. Right. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty good. Uh, my mother-in-law is a bit more of a purist than I am about keto. She follows all the rules, like no no hydrogenated oils at all. I'm not quite that strict, but she is. Well, it has to do with the fact that I have fibromyalgia, so we're trying exactly. to keep it pure. pure exactly. Clean. Let's see, what do we got here? 11 carbohydrates. So what kind of greenery do you think you're going to get? I don't know. So I know that we were going to get some uh, squash for sure, but I was thinking that we'd probably maybe get some spring mix or something else, and right. some salad. Right. I was looking to right. see right. if we had there. any, uh, we'd probably look just for some regular cabbage and see if we can just, uh, do we're gonna do a, crack. yeah, we'll do some pito crack or, uh, or the sausage alfredo kind right. of thing. We've got some really so. great recipes coming for you over the next month. I'll be doing a bunch of tailgating recipes. And she'll be doing uh, just some more longer form recipes that I don't have the patience to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going with the organic cream. What else do you want in the way of that you can find at all these now? Mm -hmm. Is Zoodles already made up. Oh, yeah. So if you're lazy and <laughs> or don't have a Zoodler, this, yeah, this person Tracy, right here is lazy. Then you can go ahead and get these already made. <laughs> Of course, I have the KitchenAid Zoodler, so I'll just buy the zucchini. Well, a lot of mine out. was having to cook in an RV, yes, yes, yes. and a lot of that is carried over to being back at the house. Aldi has really stepped up their produce game yeah, since the last time I was here. Yeah, it's a lot nicer, and they have a lot more variety and interesting things. So, green beans, but... I just found a quick little thing. It's a Greek-inspired salad. It's a vegetable blend with white chicken meat, calamata, feta cheese, and a Greek-inspired vinaigrette. 210 calories, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, 770 sodium. It says two grams of sugar. When we flip this over and look at the macros on this, so there's eight grams of carb, but three of them are from fiber, two from sugar, so I'm not sure where the other five are coming. It's got some things in here that wouldn't be ideal, but if you're looking for something that's grab and go, that this isn't great. too bad. How much this are those? Two forty nine. Yeah, two forty nine. So you it's got sixteen grams of fat and nine grams of protein. Which in keto, that's what we're looking for, is for the ratio of fat to protein to be more fat than protein. So right. that's kind of good. Like I said, it's got some canola oil and a few things that probably wouldn't be exactly ideal. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for something that you need grab and go, like for example, with you and some of the driving that you do. This would probably be a good little thing. Okay. I bet they have a cob salad one too. Oh, they have a Caesar one. So have to pick out the pick out the croutons. Yeah. So this is a Caesar one. I don't even see croutons. No, there's not croutons in here. It's got romaine lettuce, chicken breast, Caesar salad, Parmesan cheese, 
230 calories, 4.5 grams of saturated fat, 980 of sodium, but that's partly coming from that Parmesan cheese. It says 3 grams of sugar. Let's check the macros on this one. 16 of fat, 16 of protein, so equal there in protein in that. 8 carbs, 1 gram of fiber. Eh, so this one isn't as good as this the, the other, other one. Though. The other, I like to stay in the 5 oh. grams or less. This one is a turkey and bacon pop salad with iceberg, romaine lettuce, smoked turkey, breast, hard, boiled eggs, bacon, blue cheese. So let's say 220 calories. Let's put this one over because it's saying 5 grams of sugar in there as well. Okay, so this is again 5 grams of sugar. A little bit high, but again, 16 and 12, still better ratio of fat to protein and stuff. So the Greek is still the best bet. Greek is the best bet, I think. Yeah. That's probably got a ranch in it. It's probably a lower fat ranch. I would imagine it's where a lot of that sugar is coming from. Yeah, yeah. So it says blue cheese dressing. Oh, well, it's probably a lower fat. Yeah. Blue cheese. But still, good option if you're looking yeah. for something that's grab and go. Yeah. All right, let's see what else. 59 cents for eggs? Yeah. Seriously. This. How can you not? What? Right. So when people say they can't afford to go and do keto, come to Aldi's. That's all I can say. Fifty nine cents for eggs. You can't. Belong you can there. do. In its essence, keto is meat and vegetables. Correct. And so you can the dairy, the other things that we throw in there are just extras to make those things taste better. But you could do keto on strictly fatty meats, which are the cheapest meats, and and vegetables. Yeah. And eggs, and eggs, 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 eggs. Just picked up a couple of cucumbers for salads and some blueberries for snacking. Berries and cream, which we make with the great uh, sugar-free whipped cream you can get at Publix. is the only place we've been ever to, able to find it. And just to put in a salad. Bear, if you're going to eat fruit on keto, berries is the way to go. And here we see the middle aisles of the store, which generally on keto you want to avoid, with the exception of nuts. Uh, olive oil, avocado oil, that kind of thing. Most of the time, if it's in a can, it's not for you. If it's frozen and packaged, it's not for you. Wouldn't you agree, Mom? Yeah, absolutely. I said, I'm looking for zucchini. I mean, so, they had in the way of zucchini. Right. Again, we were talking about the zoodles, so we might make up some zoodles this week. Right. We're going to be filming lots of recipes for you guys. And so, with the zoodles, when you're doing the zoodler, the other thing that you want to watch out for is you want to watch for the width of the zucchini because when you use like the KitchenAid or the Pomodoro, I think it is, uh, zoodler, it's easier to do with something that's not as wide. If they get really wide, they tend to smush in the center right. because you have all that seedy sort of center and stuff like that. Right. And then it's not conducive to making the zoodles. Right. And zoodles with an Alfredo sauce is one of the best things you'll ever have. Yeah. It, it is. Like I said, keto can be so simple and so cheap. A single person can probably do keto for 50 bucks, 75 bucks a week. Oh, yeah. Easy, and easy. a family of four could probably get away with 150 bucks a week. Which, look at the, what you're spending now on the standard American diet and compare that. It's probably cheaper to do a healthier diet. And remember, you don't have to buy fresh vegetables. Frozen vegetables are just fine. Just make sure you check the label, make sure there's nothing in there but the vegetables and potentially some salt. Okay. Right? Yeah. Here's kind of an interesting thing. So these avocados are just as green as green can be, mm -hmm. but let them ripen up on the counter. Once they ripen, I stick them in the refrigerator and these suckers will last up to a month right. or more once they're ripened. So you just put them in the refrigerator and I put them in a, a like a container so that they can't get banged around and bruised by other things or people moving around stuff in the refrigerator. So I think that's a really good plan. You get right. some avocados. Great. No, six grams of sugar, 21 carbohydrates. These are terrible. This is why you want to avoid the middle aisles of the grocery store, y'all. We've heard lots of great things about these elevation bars, but... Well, what, rolled oats, tapioca sugar, inverted sugar, whole grain, <laughs> brown rice sugar, sunflower oil. Good Lord, there's everything so, you don't want to eat in there. A rule of thumb is if it's in a box or process, avoid it. Even some of the low-carb companies have been sued for misleading people with their labels. So yeah. you have to be really careful and read the ingredients. Yep, yeah, just say no. Right. The one exception to the middle aisles would be things like olives, pickles, condiments, vinegars, of course oils. Just make sure you're reading the ingredients and getting things in their pure form. Even your salad dressings, which we know the full fat is the way to go. Just make sure, on this ranch for example, just make sure you're reading. So we've got two tablespoons, 140 calories, total carbs, two. 
not too bad that's about standard but you can get things that are a little bit better than that so always read the labels make sure your macros are good before you purchase something that's processed we know these things make mayo is always a good choice we know these things make things taste better, and that's why we, we go for them. Wait a minute. Here we are again in another middle aisle, this time the oil aisle. I just had you on the condiment aisle, but Mom is choosing some fat to cook with, and she's going to give you some tutorials here. So ghee is a clarified butter, and so uh, what I actually came in this aisle for was looking for avocado oil because I had seen that one of the Aldi's out in California had avocado oil. So I was looking to see if they have it here. I actually prefer it over olive oil. You can buy an inexpensive avocado oil regardless of the brand and it's fantastic. But this is ghee, ghee clarified butter. And so this is 14 grams of fat, no protein because the milk solids have been removed from this. And this is shelf stable. So the other thing that's nice about this as is now- As opposed to regular butter. As opposed to regular butter is I can put this in my go pack when I go to restaurants and use this to season steamed vegetables or to add it to a steak or something like so, that to up the fat. So, so when, this you, is a good, when you go to a good, restaurant, you order plain steamed vegetables? Correct. And Just order plain, it yeah, and season it myself. And I have a little go pack. And at one point, I'll show you what the go pack looks like that I carry in my purse whenever I go. It's my restaurant go pack. But ghee is a perfect thing to put in that restaurant go pack because it's shelf stable. And what so we're going to put this in the cart for sure. Right. And uh, you can also clarify your own butter. You can right. take butter and melt it down and just remove all the white solids that rise to the top. And whatever's right. left is clarified butter. But you do end up wasting a lot of butter doing that. Correct. Correct. And this is pretty cheap. $6.49 for 13 ounces. Right. You know. You can you can definitely do a lot of for keto at, at all these. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the cooking sprays? I use them a lot because, again, lazy... But okay, well, so I usually, uh, Trader Joe's actually has, which is, you know, uh, also a sister to this store, has a coconut oil spray that doesn't have all of the other sort of added things that these do. So I tend to avoid these, but there is a coconut oil spray that you can get that also comes in a pumper. Right. Uh, a little pump spray thing, so I like it real well. But when it comes to oils, ghee, or butter or ghee, or, coconut oil. Yeah, so they also have coconut oil here again, four dollars and forty nine cents. Right. Fairly cheap. This goes a long way. But we want to avoid canola oil, grapeseed oil. So correct. Anything that naturally has oil in it is what you want to go for. Coconuts, yep. butter, uh, avocado, olive. Yeah. Those are the best choices yep. for keto. This is my favorite section right here. Bacon. What we got here. Okay, so this is the I don't know how to say that anyway. Natural sheet case. If anybody knows how to pronounce that, please put the phonetics in the comments below. <laughs> now, this isn't perfect. It's got some dextrose in it. It's got some sugar in it. Um, but anyway, when we look over here at the macros on this, so it's saying that there's 2.5 servings. But that's a lot of sausage. 2.5 so. ounces and 6 servings per. But it's only got 1 gram of carbohydrate. Right. You so have that's to pretty good. You have I to mean, watch with cured meats. Make sure they're... A lot of them will have high carbs because they're sugar or maple syrup cured. So yeah. you have to be careful. But this is fantastic to use to make the um, the Alfredo. So we use this hickory smoked sausage and then add this to uh, cabbage. And then with the cabbage, we also add heavy whipping cream and Parmesan cheese and make a little Alfredo sauce. And this sausage is killer. Which it's I have made that recipe for you guys. I'll put a link to that recipe below if you want to see that video. There's another one of these, this same brand but it's a spicy one. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, make you smack, smack your grandma. We don't like good to smack grandmas. I know, but. Well, I will, so I will for bacon. I'll smack anybody for bacon. And again, here's bacon. The same thing with bacon. You have to be sure yeah, that this, they're not sugar cured. Like the apple woods, as good as they taste, lots of times yeah. they are sugar cured. So this has got sugar in it and stuff. And then again, Carbohydrates is showing, showing zero, so it's got probably just a minimum of sugar right. in there. But I've seen them go to like... one carb. I've, I've seen bacons and cured meats, lunch meats, all that stuff go up as high as like six to seven carbs before. Yeah. So you have to be careful. Read labels, people. That's the reason. Stick to the... Except for a few things. Stick to the outside parameters of the grocery store. And here we are in the meat section. Poultry, pork, beef all great for keto just kind of yep. watch so read labels yeah and again here we go we've got never any 
is the ones that's no antibiotics, no hormones, vegetarian diet. So these are pretty good. Okay. I'm going to say, as far as the organic thing go, yes, it's best if you can afford organic. You don't have to do organic. You can shop at Walmart, Foodland, Food Lion, wherever you shop and do keto, which is regular old non-organic stuff. But if you can afford organic, go for it. Right. And I mean, here they have organic chicken here, right here. Right. So they have organic stuff here at all. The part of the keto diet is not necessarily weight loss. That is a welcome side side effect, but it should be to get yourself healthy again. And you get yourself healthy again by going, I'd say, 99% whole foods. Again, here's one of our favorites, salami. Yeah, so this is a Spanish recipe dry cured deli selection. So it's got three different kinds of salami in there, all in a Spanish variety, which would be great with some Spanish olives and some Spanish like sheep's cheese or something. Feta cheese. Yeah, and so when we look on the back of here, we do have some dextrose in each one of these, but they're also showing zero carbs. So realistically, they probably all have about a carb, but that's a carb for one ounce. And this right. package is a six ounce package. Right, so bottom line is we keep saying read labels. Read labels. You'll actually be surprised at how much stuff is actually okay for keto if you just read. Hey guys, it's Tracy. Just wanted to show you, like, here's some premium honey smoked ham. Just want to see if something is honey, molasses, sugar, or maple syrup cured. It is going to have higher carbohydrates. There's four or three of those is sugar. So be real careful if you try to buy something that says honey, sugar cured. Go with the regular stuff, if at all possible. But deli meats are fine. You just have to read. Hey, guys. Tracy again. I guess I should keep saying that. You know it's me. But, uh. Here is a southern favorite, pimento cheese. And I'm sure some of you people up north and in the Midwest like it too. But on uh, Monday, I dropped a recipe where I made my own containing just three ingredients, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and uh, pimentos. And that is much better for you than this. As you can see, look at all those ingredients in there. Look at all those ingredients in there. So you can see why if you can make it yourself, it's much better. Just wanted to point that out. I'll put the link to that recipe below. Okay. So found a couple more things here. We've got the jamon serrano, and then we've also got the prosciutto. Now, these are fantastic to take chicken breasts or chicken thighs. And what I do is I put uh, some Dijon mustard on there and a, and a sage leaf, and then put this on top of there, and then bake it in the oven. Fantastic. I'll be showing you guys the recipe for that. This is really, really good stuff. And again, the macros on this, if you look at this, again, it's not showing, it's just pork and salt. So no carbs whatsoever. Same on this one, we're showing pork and salt, no carbs whatsoever. So total fat grams is three, eight on the protein, so a little upside down on that. So if you add a little more fat to this, this really is going to do some, some good stuff. And like things that are low fat, like... Uh, lean cuts of the chicken breast as opposed to thighs, you always need to add some extra fat when cooking, right? Correct, right. correct, yeah. So This is a great way to do it. Butter, olive oil, this. Correct. Cheese, what have you. Yep. And also, guys, as I said, frozen is just fine. It's As long as you read the labels and make sure you're not getting something that's like this, that's honey battered or anything like that, or breaded. If you can't afford the fresh stuff, frozen is just fine. Just read the labels, make sure that it's just the product and salt or the product and water. The same goes, skip the french fries, please. We can show you how to make some jicama or zucchini fries that are much better for you. Um, the same with vegetables, anything like that. Make sure, don't skip the ice cream, skip the desserts. You can make all that yourself. Um, but on the vegetables, again, it's just fine if you can't afford the fresh stuff or it's not, not good in season where you are. Just make sure you're reading the labels and chewy, choosing the lower carb selections. Like if it's green, it's fine for you. With the exceptions of maybe yellow squash, some things like that. Thanks a lot, guys. In the frozen fish and seafood section of Aldi's, okay, just spotted these Chipotle salmon burgers. Okay, not ideal in some of the ingredients, but again, if you're looking for something quick and easy for lunch, this might be a good good choice. So we've got nine grams of fat, 140 calories, 14 grams of protein, one gram of carbohydrates. It does have some ingredients like vegetable oil and things like that that we're not really thrilled about, 
but and some dextrose and stuff like that and some of the spicy seasoning flavors. But overall, this would not be a really bad choice. Right. So we also have shrimp. Shrimp is another really good thing to take for lunch. If you have a hot water dispenser that you can dispense hot water for tea, what I do is I take this, and I have a recipe for this, where you take the shrimp and then put them in the hot water to defrost them at work so you keep them in the freezer at work if you have access to a freezer, or take them in a bag and take them to work, and then make a shrimp salad. Sounds good. Like I said, if you can't afford fresh meat and seafood, frozen is an okay option as long as you read the label. Yeah. Same with vegetables. So even here we have wild sockeye salmon, which is the same as the Cockle River salmon that you'll find at Whole Foods. And at Whole Foods, this is $32.99 a pound. Here we have it for $11.99 a pound. Same thing, coming out of the same river. Just this, this, this was caught much earlier than what was what's at Costco. Nothing against Costco. We love Costco. Yeah. But, here we go. We got uh, Aldi stepping up their game. They got rice cauliflower. We have a garlic and herb rice cauliflower and then a plain rice cauliflower. Both of these have nothing but cauliflower and the seasoning in them. So the rice cauliflower has nothing but cauliflower and salt. So this is again for a nice quick meal during the week or if you have leftovers that you want to serve over a quote unquote keto rice, this is perfect. Just heat this up and it's microwavable. I'm not sure if it's microwavable in this bag. Let's see. No, you have to take this out of the bag, but still a really good option. This other one is garlic and herb. And so if we flip this over, it's got nothing but the cauliflower, garlic, and parsley in there, and salt. So again, perfect for keto. Nice to have in the freezer to put together a quick meal and add some and flavor to food. it was less than food. $2 a bag. Correct. And three people could eat easily off of this. Yeah. And now, Tracy did a fantastic thing the other night with just plain rice cauliflower. She took a can of the diced tomatoes with green chilies, and we had some left from uh, some omelets that she did. And so she added that to this along with um, some uh, artichoke spread, mixed it together with the rice cauliflower. Fantastic. Tasted like a risotto. Yep. Perfect. Well, y'all, that just about concludes our shopping trip. Hope we, uh, this uh, in this uh, key, bargain keto shopping 101. There's Tosh behind, behind me doing the bunny ears. ears. Yeah. But anyway, this is uh, Tracy from Tracy Barkley uh, Comedy and Cherie Dixon from Girls Gone Keto. Check us out Instagram, Facebook, and ignore the hands. No, love us, like she's saying, love us. Love us. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.